Hi, Sean here with an update on the Hellboy Millenbaugh motivator that I built for uh, Adam Savage's uh, Hellboy Mecha Glove. Um, if you've been following along, you know that the crankshaft has been an ongoing problem. It's very tiny and delicate, and uh, the original plastic version that we did just did not hold up. Uh, I've been trying to find a way to get it done in metal. Uh, and there's there's lots of ways. I've gotten lots of great advice. Um, you could probably do uh, like have a jeweler actually, uh, you know, make one from scratch. Um, but it would be expensive. Uh, you could probably cast one from like a, a wax uh, 3D print or something like that. Um, but I wanted to see if we could actually print it in in metal. Um, my first try was at Shapeways, and um, I love Shapeways, but their tolerances were way off on it, and it was kind of warped. Um, but I've been working this company X1 that uh, this uh, has done two versions for me. Uh, this is the um, first ver version here. Let's see if I can get some focus. And uh, it turned out pretty well. It uh, the tolerances are pretty good, but um, I had to grind down the ends because it wouldn't fit in the bearings, and uh, I had to fix some tolerances. So we have the second version installed now, and we also got a uh, a medieval pewter finish on it so it kind of matches how it should look on the motivator and I had to clean up the ends a little bit uh, where the bearings go um, because you can just kind of see this has a rough finish to it and there's just no way around that unless you're going to spend a ton of money um, so I had to clean it up a little bit so I'll probably do one more revision that will uh, fix those problems but let's, um, let's fire it up There we go. So yeah, other than the uh, little cleanup at the ends here for the bearings, uh, I didn't really have to do anything to it, I just installed it. And it's working pretty good. So I think one more revision and we'll have these ready to make some kits. Um, you'll notice Right down here at the end, it's got a um, if I get focus here. It's got a little key on it, and that's for this hand crank, so that when you're building it, you can hand crank the mechanism uh, gently uh, to make everything sure everything's in alignment and and working well before you fire up the motor. Because this is a really delicate mechanism, and you can see the white ones here where I've already broken some just putting it together. So. Any kit that I make will have extra valves. <laughs> so stay tuned and uh, hopefully we'll have a finished kit soon.